Information processing in sport can be described as the process of taking account of the sporting environment and then making decisions prior to the execution of a skill. Information processing can be divided into four parts, input, decision making, output and feedback. During the input stage, information is picked up from the display using our senses. By display, we simply mean the sporting environment. For example, a gymnast on a balance beam must use their senses, such as a sense of sight and touch, to ensure that they're moving correctly on the beam. A table tennis player must use the sense of sight in order to watch the ball carefully before choosing a shot. As performers improve their skills within a sport, they're able to block out the irrelevant information from the display and concentrate only on the relevant information. This process is known as selective attention. An example of this could be in football, where a player can block out the irrelevant information, such as a noise from the crowd, and only focus on relevant information, such as the position of the ball or the position of their teammates. Following the input from the senses, the second stage of the information processing model is the decision-making stage. This stage is difficult as the performer will receive a large amount of information from the senses, but needs to make a decision based only on the important and relevant information. Both short-term and long-term memory are vital for good decisions to be made. Short-term memory lasts for approximately 18 seconds. A basketball player might use short-term memory to remember the position of a teammate before making a pass, therefore coming to a good decision. Long-term memory is vital to decision-making. This can be used to recall a similar situation in the past and therefore come up with a correct response in order to perform a skill. For example, a tennis player will see the ball bouncing in a certain position and pick a relevant shot to play from their long-term memory. Output involves acting on our decisions. A network of nerves are responsible for relaying the decisions made to the muscles so that they can perform the required action. For example, in running, the brain will send in impulses to the quadriceps and hamstrings so they can contract in the right way and therefore the runner can run at the right pace. The final stage of information processing is feedback. Feedback is information used during or after the response to aid movement correction. This can be received by yourself, known as intrinsic feedback, or by others, known as extrinsic feedback. A professional golfer will know if they have hit a good shot based on where the ball ends up. If the ball has gone in the wrong direction, they will automatically give feedback to themselves in order to alter the shot next time. The information processing model is on a continuous loop. A sports person takes in information from the display, makes a decision, puts that decision into process before gaining feedback. The feedback given will then impact how the input is perceived in the future. Repeating this process alongside gaining quality extrinsic feedback should result in a performance improving over time. It's worthwhile ensuring that you're comfortable with the key terms of this topic. Pause the video now in order to look closely and learn these terms.